This video intends to show the easiest way of visualizing what exactly it is you're doing when you solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. I'm presupposing that you already know the mechanics and are now interested in seeing how it works. However, even if you don't understand the algebra displayed here, it will still serve you to understand why the math works, even if you haven't yet mastered the algebraic process. This video will visualize solving quadratic equations by completing the square using rectangles and squares. The area of every rectangle is its length times its width. A square is a special kind of rectangle whose length is equal to its width. So to calculate a square's area, you just need to raise one of its sides by the power of two. Here is a square whose width is equal to seven inches. We know, since it's a square, that its length is the same. Thus, its area is equal to seven times seven, or seven squared, which is equal to 49. Similarly, here is a square whose sides are x inches. Thus, its area equals x times x, or x squared. We now have a visual of the simplest possible quadratic expression. It's a square whose length and width equal x. Now let's say we want to add this rectangle to it. First, we need to determine its area. As we can see, its width is one inch and its length is x inches. Area equals length times width. So what is the area of this rectangle? I hope everyone got x. And now we have a new quadratic expression x squared plus x. Let's move on to solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Here we have a square whose length and width are w inches. What's the area of this square? I hope you all said w squared. Now we can add some rectangles to make it a bit more complicated. Here we just added four w's. Each w is w inches in length and one inch in width. Now the total area being taken up by our square and rectangles is w squared plus four w. Now we just need to determine the value for a and we can solve for w. Here we set our area equal to 45. Each rectangle labeled seven is seven inches in length and one inch in width so they each have a total area of seven square inches. Each square labeled one is one inch in length and one inch in width, so they each have a total area of one square inch. So we now have the equation w squared plus four w equals seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus one plus one plus one, which is the same as saying w squared plus four w equals seven times six, plus one times three, or w squared plus four w equals 45. Let's take a moment to see how we solve this equation by just using the mechanics of completing the square that most of us were taught in school. We begin with the equation w squared plus four w equals 45. We then take the coefficient of w and divide it by two times the coefficient of w squared and then we square the result. From this, we find the number we need to add to each side, four, which will allow us to complete the square, which just means we can factor our quadratic equation into two like expressions here, w plus two multiplied by w plus two, or w plus two squared. The mechanics aren't difficult, but they're also far from transparently showing what is happening when we complete the square. Looking again at this picture, it's clear what is meant by completing the square. Just by looking at the square and the four rectangles representing our quadratic expression, we can see a hole in the lower right corner that must be filled before it's a complete square. Just by looking at the picture, can you see how many square inches need to be added to make the quadratic expression a square? We're going to add four square inches to each side and we can actually look at it and see that we now have a square. The next thing we would normally do is factor the quadratic expression, 
but I'd like to stray a bit from the norm and first factor the number 49 so that we can see exactly how it works. We'll take the number 49 and factor it into 7 times 7. 49 is the total area, and area is length times width. So if we have a square that is 49 square inches and another square whose length and width are 7, then these squares should be congruent. And they are. We now need to do the same thing with our quadratic expression. So we'll factor w squared plus 4w plus 4 into w plus 2 squared. If we factored correctly, then these two squares should be congruent. And they are. Now we're ready to solve for w. We take the square root of w plus 2 squared and the square root of 7 squared. And we get w plus 2 equals 7. We're almost there. Subtract 2 from each side and we find that w is equal to 5. Now, the only thing left to do is to check to see if this is true. And it is.